Hi Pisces, welcome to your Do They Miss You reading. This will be a seven card spread having a look to see if there's an ex uh, that is missing you, maybe someone you were involved with um, for the long term, or maybe there was someone um, that you were involved with, with for a very short brief romance, maybe you were once married. Whoever you shared a connection with, this is just to see if this person is thinking about you, if there's hope for a reconciliation, if they're missing you. Um, this could be all one person or this could be... Um, someone's thoughts thought patterns are uh, different people that you've dealt with or that you've previously been connected to so please bear that in mind for those that were after private readings all the information you require is below in the show more section otherwise thank you as always for joining me i really do appreciate you um, being here watching and supporting me please feel free to like share subscribe or share your comments uh, down below otherwise let's get straight into it and see uh, pisces do they miss you? Okay, Pisces, do they miss you? Pisces, who is missing you? Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo coming through here with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this, this is someone you were hoping to build a future with. I think with the Seven of Pentacles, this is either someone you were hoping to grow with or blossom with. Um... I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, this is someone or a relationship um, that was quite serious or was intending to go that way with the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like the time is ripe or the time is ready. I almost feel like this person felt like it was time to end the relationship or you felt it was time to end the relationship. Um, Seven of Pentacles really is them actually thinking about you um, questioning whether in fact that time was ripe and ready for them to leave or them to walk away or for them to end the relationship or vice versa if it was you that left walked away ended the relationship you know this is life assessment this is the tree of life um and i almost feel like someone feels they're finally ready to give you what you're wanting or they think they're ready to give you what they're, uh, they're what you're wanting because they're applying rationality here they're being quite practical um, especially if they are earth energy uh, Pisces they are trying to be quite practical um, and weigh things up in their mind really mull, mull things over with the seven of pentacles um, you know it is about growth so I feel like someone has matured in a way from your connection Okay, the two of wands, this could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo that's coming up here. There could be two different people um, or this person is in two different minds um, about you. I feel for some this person is foreign, um, especially if, if it was a long distance relationship with a fire sign. Um, Pisces with the two of wands, this person, there's a longing with the two of wands. You can see that they're looking to the future, but they, they also feel somewhat held back. So I feel like someone is longing to hear from you or to be with you um, or longing for you to change or for them to change or longing for circumstances or outside influences to fall into place so you can make this relationship work in the future um, is what I'm seeing here. For others, I feel like there's someone that's moving away from you physically relocating trying to move away maybe moving different countries cities states regions districts towns villages you know this is movement here um they could also be leaving because there's a relationship um with someone foreign that that's waiting for them there's a new horizon for them with the two of ones or it could have been that they currently have two people they're thinking about and one is definitely yourself um, so they're mulling things over with the two of ones. It is indecisiveness. Um, it can be two different journeys, um, choosing between two different journeys, choosing between what you know and what you don't know. So I feel like they're going through um, this sort of tennis match, this ping pong match up in their mind right now and they're, they're going back and forth on their um, decisions of how they feel or what they want to say to you or if in fact the two of you should reconcile, if this person should reach out to you in hopes um, to reconcile with the two of ones. It could also be that distance broke the two of you apart Um Maybe you had to go and work for a career thing. Maybe you had to travel. I feel like that might have been um, 
something here. Now you have the sign of Sagittarius that came up with the Temperance card here. The Temperance card is Yin and Yang. So I feel like someone felt like they were their your Yin or they were your Yang. You were their Yang or their Yin to their Yang type thing. Um, so I like this. This is someone that finally understands you were their equal. Um, or finally understands why the two of you came together. Because the Temperance card is alchemy. Um, it is balance. It is moderation. It is two worlds coming together. Um, possibly a reconciliation lies ahead for you in the distant future, he Pisces. By this time, you may have relocated. You may have moved on with someone else. Or you may have even moved location um, to be elsewhere. But I feel like there is a possible... Um, reconciliation of the two, you know the two of you merging together once more but I also feel like someone just wants peace or they're hoping for peace so I'm not sure if there's bitterness or anger or there's a lot of emotion that's involved here but someone's hoping for peace um, or truce even you know hoping for truce temperance is honesty it's moderation it's everything in its place everything how it needs to be um, or everything how it was designed to be so I definitely feel this is a very um a very deep um, or analytical person that you have here and they're thinking about you um, very intensely um, they're very similar in you to you in a way so I feel like they're a bit of a dreamer as well um, quite philosophical about love they take a philosophical approach to love or how to be loved or the lessons you need to learn in love type thing as well with the temperance card um, but for some, I feel like there's someone that wants a relate uh, friendship with you um, or to be civil. They're wanting this from you, uh, Pisces. Okay, King of Pentacles. This is a Taurus that's coming through for some of you. Someone wants to establish something with you with the King of Pentacles here. Um, this is all about establishing roots, um, cementing something, stability, security. So maybe they're wanting some sort of stable relationship with you. I am seeing consistency, moderation, and stability. So someone wants to either be in touch with you more or, or still have you around, maybe not in a love relationship way, um, Pisces, but they still want you around. Um, you have a very established bond together um, because the King of Pentacles is coming up. So you obviously have a very established bond together. Um, I feel like someone feels like they could build a life with you um, or they see you as someone that could be their future wife or their future husband and you know it's quite it's it's a deeply rooted um, emotion here so I feel like someone has established it's someone you've established a lot of roots with either you've met their family you've lived with them maybe you've been married to them but I feel in one aspect you've you've built a life with this person um, and they're still going to be around you they do miss you, but they're wanting peace um, and they want effort from you. So if they're putting in a lot of effort, I think they want to see this uh, reciprocated uh, Pisces with the King of Pentacles, but could be a Taurus here. But also someone that's wanting growth and improvement in your current friendship or relationship, um, however this, this may be uh, for you, Pisces. Okay, the next card over Knight of Pentacles. Okay, um, more Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo coming through with the Knight of Pentacles energy. I feel like someone is going to come back into your life. Um, they're going to be a constant in your life. The Pentacles coming up in this reading present this person is going to be consistent around you. Either they're consistently going to communicate you or they're consistently going to speak about you. Um, this person isn't one to just forget. I feel like you're, st you st you're still there for them. You're still very much a part of their life, whether you're absent or not, whether you're involved or not. They still hold a lot of reverence for you or you're still involved in their decision-making process somehow, maybe because you have kids together, for example, and you need to liaise with each other. So they're still a constant in your life. But I feel they will be in the future as well. Um, but the Knight of Pentacles harbors an offer here. So I feel like there's an offer. Now, whether it's of, of love, whether it's an offer of peace, whether it's an offer of truce, I do see an offer that looms here. They haven't presented it to you yet, but they will. It's 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 coming to the brim here. So it's 
it's going to become larger and larger. It's snowballing, so to speak. So this person is eventually going to come out and express what it is that they've been meaning to express uh, to you. Okay, the Ten of Cups. This is a card of happily ever after. Okay. I'm not sure if you envisioned a happily ever after with this person here, Pisces. I mean, there is a lot of fish in these cards, the Ten of Cups. You do rule the cups. Um, or if this, you did have somewhat of a happily ever after, and unfortunately that was cut short for some reason. Um, I feel with the Ten of Cups, there is a reconciliation happening for some of you. Um, and it might happen in the distant future, you know, two days, two weeks, two years, 20 years. I feel like there will be a time when the two of you will be wrapped in each other's arms again in a really beautiful way here. Again, not for all, so not everyone. Please jump and think, oh, no, I don't want to be with this person again. They hurt me. There's no way I'd go back. Then that's fair enough. You know, that's your judgment call. That's your discretion. But for others, I absolutely feel like the two of you will embrace again, whether it's for sex, whether it's for... A, ro a fleeting romance, whether it's for just a really strong friendship um, and the two of you will support each other. But I'm seeing love. The Ten of Cups really is a, a card of happily ever after and you're intertwined in each other's lives. I feel like you'll either A, be intertwined in each other's lives for quite some time to come or B, you're doing the dance of love together here. Um, and for some, I feel like the person that misses you is almost like a soulmate. Uh, again, they're the yin to your yang or they're the yang to your yin so to speak so this is powerful stuff okay eight of cups more um water energy cancer pisces or scorpio the eight of cups is searching for depth searching for meaning so I feel like this person is on the quest to search for something with you or the search for depth or meaning with you in some regard here, Pisces. Um, or this could be you. You could be searching for meaning with this person. I almost feel like if they are communicating with you, you're analyzing whatever it is they're communicating with. I feel like you're breaking it down. You're trying to decipher the implied or the subliminal messages this person is presenting to you. Because again, I don't think it's overtly obvious. This is a period of growth, development, um, you know, waiting. But I feel like, you know, the offer is looming and you sense it. You're quite intuitive, Pisces. So I think you sense what's coming. For those that know who this person is, um, or some sort of attributes that they may have, which are the ones I may have described here, I feel like with the Eight of Cups, you know that they're searching for something deeper um, or something more, like they're wanting something more than what you have. So say, for example, if you're bitter and you hate each other and you hate each other's guts, they're wanting more, they're wanting friendship. If you already have friendship and you're great, you know, and you're on civil terms, they're wanting love, they're wanting romance, they're wanting emotion. I will leave it at that though, Pisces. I hope this reading has been insightful. I hope it's been enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching.